though it's been a long and expensive 10 weeks that I couldn't drive my world's most fuel efficient diesel caravan. Darn it. Yep, 10 weeks since that shifter cable broke. Now I've got some in the mail from my glorious fans and I can get her going. This will also be a cold start since it's 10 degrees Celsius out November 23rd and it hasn't been started in you know all that week so I don't even know if the battery's charged. My Maroon 2002 3.3 caravan cost me 60 to 65 dollars a week fuel to drive that thing with my usual driving. And this wonderful thing with the 1.6 Jetta turbo diesel 5 speed cost me $55 to drive the same distance, but I go three weeks on one tank of fuel. Sweet. I put this fan together in 2001, now it's 2009. Flops all over the place because of course it's still missing the shifter cable. And it has 438,736 kilometers on it. Sure I can afford to drive anything I want, but I'm cheap. So this is my van of choice over that typical thing. Well, there's what an itty bitty VW engine looks like shoved into a Chrysler minivan with VW transmission but modified to work off the two cable shifter mechanism that Chrysler and many other cars use is Volkswagen uses a rod system with some linkages. Just need a hammer and a wrench to change it. So Alex Smith from Edmonton, Alberta sent me two cables. They're not exactly the same but they can be modified. If, for example I cut the ends off and weld my old ends on from the other cables. And Matt from Atlanta also sent me a pair of cables from a 94 caravan that was a standard. And my old one and new one are beside each other. Here's my old one with the broken end. Well, his cable, the one of them is exactly what I need. The other one is like my other cable which isn't broke yet. So for sake of saving time, for now I'll put the perfect one on that is exact match and of course I'll save the other ones for when that eventually breaks or I make another van. Thank you guys. Let's get to work. So just gotta shove that through the hole in the floor. <coughs> what the hell? I guess I shoved it through the other way. Oh well. Okay. Pull it through from under the hood. Shove it in my lawnmower blade contraption that I have to support the cable. Gotta put the C-clip on. And I had to make a weird modification on this. Up here in the boot, I had to cut a slit in my boot and weld the little pin that this end goes on up here instead of down there where it's supposed to be. If I didn't do that when I first hooked it all up, the gear pattern was reversed. First was down here, and second was up there. So, it didn't take long to do that mod. That's why I had to put that piece of lawnmower blade up there to support it, and a little support. Clip is on. Get on there. Here. Now to put the nut on. Tighten her up. Alrighty. Now I just gotta do the same thing under the hood. Oh, I've got another lawnmower blade contraption down there to support the other end of the cable. And it's kinda hard to see. But the original Volkswagen arm, I had to weld this long bolt on. And a little attachment on the end to fit the cable onto. And you can see the other cable. So, all is set up and installed five minutes later. I'm going to go inside and do some shifting.
Gotta love your VWs. And this thing never smokes. It's just like my tractor, my case. Sweet. Now for a test drive. third. There we go. Hmm, brakes are a bit rusty. Turbo sounds nice. Ah, a bit too young for me. Shifts like new. Sweet. Like new, never know it had so many kilometers on it. <laughs> 